Selena's Beauty Works co-owner Sean Sapp didn't give up on providing free haircuts for those displaced by Typhoon Mawar. Honestly, it was a very, very, very good like vibe. It was very nice. I mean, unexpected though people came. I mean, I put out last minute with the barbers or anybody who knows how to cut hair or braid. Last week, Sapp and the American Red Cross butting heads over a mix-up causing the planned haircut drive at the Island Academy shelter to be canceled. They've since come to an agreement with the haircut drive pulling through Sunday at the Istanbul Middle School shelter. And despite a last-minute call out for help, the community showing up to support the effort. Even if you don't like have a license or if you're just doing a backyard, like they came. And I don't even know these people and I thought that was really amazing like for these guys just to show up. And that's like what I tell my staff is just show up. Once you show up, that's it. Like it's game on and you want to just do it, get it done and things will happen. He says about 15 backyard barbers and both licensed and unlicensed hairstylists came together to give fresh cuts and new hairdos to those who needed it. Most of the children who wanted to get the haircuts, of course some of them were scared, but I mean, if they were ready, you know, we were just ready to cut it. And like just seeing everybody there that literally I, was st I started like at my own corner and I was not facing the crowd when I was cutting hair. And then I turn around and I see all these different people cutting hair. I, d I didn't expect it. I think that was like so cool. And like they were just like grabbing people too. Like they were ready to cut. And I thought that was really, I mean, this is what our industry is about. Sap saying the drive is all about reinstilling hope and confidence. They were so happy. I thought, yeah, they were just like, you know, they didn't expect anything. They just were there like with us and they enjoyed every part of it and just talking to them and also making them smile and but also giving them that like guidance too. You know, usually when I do cut hair, I like to get to know who you are a little bit, what you like, and then I kind of just base it off of like just that, those simple questions. And then I just kind of like tell them to push it down. You know what I mean? Like I know this is not your only break right now, like you need to keep going. Meanwhile, discussions with the Red Cross is ongoing to find a way to also bring the salon to those at the Island Academy shelter. Mitsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.